Okay, this is the fourth tutorial in this extended series of tutorials for images and texture maps using uh, cycles. So let's see, we're going to continue with this scene. Let's get rid of a few things in the scene, make some space. We'll get rid of this one here, and that one there, and this one here for the moment. And then I'll move this back and back there a ways. And I'm going to add a new cube to the scene. And we'll just go back and practice once again. Uh, marking a seam and unwrapping it, just kind of get used to it. Maybe periodically we'll just keep doing it because that's a, the biggest challenge, it seems to be, is unwrapping your object the way you want it so you can map it. Sometimes, like I've maybe I've showed you before in some videos, sometimes you can just separate these individual faces by parts, make them into individual objects, map the individual object onto each face, and then they're all you know, mapped as flat objects on a surface. So that's quick and easy for a lot of things. So, but let's go into edit mode on here. We'll get up our toolbar. And I'm going to edge select here. So, well, no, let's face select here. Let's get rid of a face real quick. Let's get rid of this face. And let's get rid of that face over there. See, I think I have it. All right, so this is our object now, just this open thing. Now you might imagine that if I want to unwrap this particular object, the easiest way to do it would be just to mark one seam. I could pick either that seam, any one of those like that. And that would cut that open, and those should lay flat, and that should lay flat, and then we should have a strip that should appear in our uh, UV image editor. So let's mark that as a seam, and then we have to make sure that they're all highlighted. Oops, I left to that mode. I want to make sure they're all highlighted. And then we unwrap it like this. Okay, now let's go get our UV image editor window. And let's see what shows up. So there is the strip right there. And there's an existing image that I had in the scene from before. So maybe we'll use it. So we know it's in here. I can just take this and move this like this with the G key either sideways or I can, you know, same thing still apply. If I do GY, I constrain it so it doesn't move sideways. I'll just put it like this in the center here. And let's go get our node editor first and go give it a material. Let's see, just pick any material. Just We don't need it, but we'll put one on there. And there's, so there's our material node. I mean, there's our diffuse node. Now we need a texture. And we'll let me see what that texture was that was already in there. I don't know. Um, well, let me get our texture node first. Maybe I can find it. Maybe it was... Maybe it was that one there. You know, the way I find out is you have to go into the UV image editor and load the image in there. So that's not it there. Let's see. Replace it with, maybe it was 12, no. Replace 11, no. Um, yeah, but that'll do, this will work for this one. Okay, so now we have this new image in here. So now I'm gonna take this piece here, and maybe I'll just use this portion of it right here to map that onto there. All right, so it's aligned like it, just like it is. So only that should map onto the cube there. And we'll go back into the node editor and we'll connect it up. All right, single. And then remember the type of here's our texture button. And then we have to change this to UV. Okay. And there it is. It maps on. Just like that. All right, let's go see what it looks like. We'll go full screen. All right, am I in edit mode? All right, I'm still in edit mode there. So you know it's working when you both object and edit mode work like that. And so let's go look at it in rendered mode. See what it looks like. Okay, there's our object. Let's rotate it on Z a little bit. Ed oh, I'm still in edit mode. Okay, R, Z. There it is, wrapped on all sides all the way through. All right, we'll shrink it down just a little bit maybe move it over here. 
just a little. Mm -hmm. All right, there we have that in the scene. 